Welcome to Cindy's Chronicles. Boom. <laughs> what is up, guys? So, I know the intro was quick. Y'all, I am having a colonoscopy. I just made 45, so they was like, yeah, you got to do it. And you know the scariest thing about this right now is that I'm going to be alone. My daughter's going to be in Aruba. My sons both have to work. And of course, I'm single now, so I've always, always, always had somebody with me. This is a point in my life when I just really have to trust God. You know, I think that's this is a period in my life right now where that's what he's trying to tell me. He's trying to tell me, look, I'm all you ever needed, so you have to trust me. Um, One of my friends, or maybe my sister, is going to come and get me. Hold on. Yeah, one of my friends, or maybe my sister, is going to come and get me, but... I've always had like one of my children or my um, my ex-girlfriend so this is what I got the first thing I need to do is they said I need to take four of these right now this is the day before the seatbelt huh yeah um, so I'm gonna take four of these right now and then oh child I'm be going to the bathroom I know I look a mess I just worked out because I know I'm probably not gonna be able to work out tomorrow you guys stay tuned okay took four gas eggs oh my goodness i hope i don't die y'all please don't let me die let's see it says you could take you could swallow one or two soft gels as needed after meals and at bedtime do not exceed four in 24 hours oh my goodness <clears throat> okay so i need to call my doctor and see if i can take this i'm gonna call you guys back all right, guys, so they didn't answer the phone fast enough, and I'm a little impatient because I'm already an hour behind. So I was just like, forget it. I just took three of them instead of four. So I don't know what this is going to do. I never took a gas X, I don't think, ever. Never took a gas X, and I never took a um, laxative, I don't think. Mm -mm. I think I took a laxative one time, years ago, maybe. So I don't know what it's going to do to my stomach, being I never took it before. But I'm headed home just in case. I gotta get to the bathroom quick. I'll keep you guys posted. Now I do have some other stuff I'll show you guys when I get home. I have to drink six o'clock tonight, like this big old jug of stuff. And I did cut my finger. Um but anyway, yeah, I gotta drink this big old jug of stuff. And tonight and the rest in the morning y'all stay tuned i'm gonna be praying and praying and praying and praying and praying and praying but i did hear it's a must that you get these things just to be on the safe side of everything <sighs> y'all stay tuned okay guys so let me show y'all what i had to drink hold on let me go and get it so bam Wait, let me make sure my name and anything is not on it. Oh, okay. So right here. 
them. Good morning. This is officially gone. Well, I got a little bit left and I'll wait some. It's just, I couldn't take it anymore. Now the paper said that your stool has to be clear and not orange. Mine's a little orange, so hopefully it clear up. But I'm not really hungry. I think it's a mind thing. My mind is telling me I haven't eaten, so I'm hungry. But other than that, <sighs> let's see, guys. Y'all stay cool. I didn't make nobody think it was that important because I hate asking people to do stuff for me. But I guess this is emotional. And I don't want to cry. So wait, I'm going to be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. I think it's about that time. Um, It's actually... A little early it's um nine o'clock and they just called me and told me to come here early <laughs> and i'm just really sad because so i drove myself and of course i've been crying My sister is on her way to pick me up. Well, she's coming to pick me up. All right, guys. So, look at my head. This has been really, really, really emotional for me because it's been like years since I ever had to be alone. I haven't been single in 18 years and I've never had to do anything like this alone. But... Sometimes when call, God is calling you, he's like, I need you to know that um, that I'm enough. You know what I'm saying? So I've literally been put in a position where I just have to trust God. Like, I have nobody to comfort me. I have nobody to say it's going to be okay. I have to literally trust God. And that's what I'm doing right now. So, so far, um, my stool is clear. Um, so that's a good thing, and I have pooped so much, and it's not even poop, literally like I have one real poop, um, everything else is just in water. So, y'all, I can't believe I'm even, like, getting on camera like this because my eyes are so red and bulgy from me crying. I know everything's gonna be okay. But, yeah, you have to get, sometimes you get put in a position where you just have to trust God. And that's okay. It's necessary. I'm grateful. I'm trusting him. So, y'all yeah, stay tuned. Okay, I'm in a better mood. I got, mm -hmm. I just talked to the nurse. She said it was going to be like 15, 20 minutes. So, it'll be over soon. So let's see guys, Ooh. me and God, that's how, just us, period. I'm trusting God on this one, that's all I got, my hair. I wanted to pin my hair up because I don't want to be like, Okay, guys, everything went well. They say I don't have to come back for 10 years. I still highly recommend it, though. Everybody should get it. I'll tell y'all why when I'm out of here. But I feel good. I don't even feel like I was under anesthesia. I literally feel like um, I just woke up from a nap. I had some apple juice, and now I'm going to give me some food. Okay. All right, guys. So... Oh my God, it was so quick. Like I'm literally about, I think I had the surgery maybe like at 11 a.m. It's 12 and I am up. I feel good. I really feel like I could drive. I got my sister with me. She came to pick me up. Hey. She won't stop texting and she won't stop talking to me and I need to talk, but okay, fine. I'm gonna let her keep texting because she's having a, um, Holy Spirit. a Holy Spirit thing going on right now. So for me, um, 
I was gonna go eat, but I am still fasting to 6 p.m. So I'm just gonna hold out. I'm gonna drink water and this Sprite. And I'm gonna pray. Please. Because she got an amen in it. <laughs> yes. Because everything went well. They said I don't have to come back for 10 years. But I do highly recommend it because I know I know like somebody just recently who just went for a random one. And she's not much older than me, and they did find cancer. So I do highly recommend it to everyone. Um, and if you have to take one, don't be scared. Don't be nervous. I think my only reason for being so nervous is because I never had to go through anything like this alone. But like I said, I'm in the process of my life where um, God is trying to tell me that I've never been alone. And why i depended on everybody mm -hmm. for my um or he'll send resources yeah i That's i always you know you're not alone right i've always felt like i needed certain people to just be there to make things go smoothly but i'm in this phase in my life where god is telling me you need me and i'm the person who got you through everything anyway everything else was just I'm, the human I, I, the human side of me just wanted somebody there so I'm learning to do things on my own that was the hardest thing for me this morning I cried so much because first I don't like asking nobody to do anything for me that's retarded. I know that's retarded and I, that's pride that's right. and pride is I not a good thing and I, I rebuke pride and I renounce it now in Jesus in name Jesus you gotta name. keep saying it until it's released right. because God didn't put us in the world to be isolated uh, we are to work as a whole in the body of Christ. So when you realize, okay, I mean, you called me, I came. He made provision of where I had no patients, no clients this morning. I was able to come and take you. Period. So, yeah, um, that's. I think this was the hardest thing for me. But again, that was my pride. And um, it was nothing but one phone call. And yeah, so... Y'all make sure y'all do y'all colonoscopies. Colon, am I saying it right? Yeah, colonoscopies. Right. And um, don't be fearful to be alone with God because you need that. You need that so that you can get to that next phase in your life. I'm really getting to a point in my life where I feel like I don't need anybody. Well, not that I don't need anybody where I could do this thing life with God and, and it's okay to ask other people for if you need a little help or whatever you don't need to be prideful I've always just went to the people that was in my little small circle like my children my ex and um, now I'm starting to realize I could do stuff outside of them and it feels amazing so thank y'all so much for tuning in for this video tonight after 6 p.m. when I finish my prayer and my fast I'm gonna give me a good meal baby I might go sit in Ruth Chris by myself at the bar huh, uh -uh. how you fast and then you going to the bar I'm going to the bar and eat by myself I'm not gonna sit at a table by myself I, I want a steak I'm not listening to her right now I'm not gonna get a drink I'm gonna give me a steak and a potato mm -hmm. and put it in my little tummy mm -hmm. and a salad I'm not going to get a hamburger. Do you know I have not had the de desire for a hamburger in a minute? Alright guys. Y'all do me a favor and have an amazing day. Mwah. Okay, so I know you're not supposed to do this. Hold on, let me put on my seatbelt. But I did tell my sister to drop me off to my car because I felt good. I just wanted to drive my own self home. I want to go home. I want to get in my bed and lay down and watch movies. I just use this as a relaxing day. After six today, I'll give me a meal. And yeah. So again, you guys have an amazing day. Mwah.